I'm Melissa Nakavali at Junction Place, the second of five homeless shelters to open up across the city to offset the loss of beds in the pending closure of Seaton House, the largest men's homeless shelter in Toronto. With colder temperatures upon us and a homeless rate at an incredible high. Nobody is going to be here because they want to be here. People are going to be here because their circumstances uh, put them in a place where they needed some shelter, they needed some help. The city has opened this, a homeless shelter located near St. Clair and Runnymede Road, which will house 50 new beds. They will have a cage. Yeah. Some, some of which are pet friendly. We've got some additional rooms here. This is a uh, room for three people. With the upcoming closure for the revitalization of Seaton House, an emergency shelter that has over 500 beds located downtown, slated for May 2021, City Council has ordered the opening of shelters across the city, with the first of five already operating in Scarborough and now Junction Place in Toronto's West End. The fact is that people who experience homelessness, they're not all from the downtown. And so we're committed to opening up new facilities in locations that can better serve people who experience homelessness in all parts of the city of Toronto. The supports that will be offered in this building go way beyond shelter and go to employment and help finding housing and a host of uh, other things. So here we have our client lounge. Uh, TV here and of course we could run small groups and uh, programs in this room as well. City officials say there's been an increase in homelessness in the city at about a doubling rate in the amount of people visiting shelters at a nightly basis with occupancy rates at shelters around 98 percent. That's driven by a number of factors including the affordable issue, affordability issues uh, for housing in the city as well as um, working with uh, a greater number of refugee claimants. And the city is trying to close that gap with a goal of opening 1,000 more beds by 2022. We're making progress. We're almost halfway uh, to meet that target. Uh, but certainly uh, the need continues. And uh, we need not only more emergency shelters, but actually deeply affordable uh, housing and supportive housing for people. The city is rolling out their winter plan, which will see 500 extra shelter beds opened over the next three weeks. That will bring the total of people requiring emergency shelters to 8,000 per night. It is an investment in uh, helping people to build themselves back up so they won't continue to be on a continuous basis through long periods, if not the rest of their lives, uh, a continuing cost to the city. The shelter's first clients are expected to be coming from Seaton House. It will be officially open on November 25th. Near Runnymede and St. Clair, Melissa Nakavali, City News.